Hello friends, my name is Danish Nathania and I am teaching in CLEC 7. Uh, we are on chapter number 2, the client with respiratory disorder and the category number 4, the client with pneumonia. Okay, we are on question number 94. Uh, we, uh, I will discuss this in English and after that I will discuss also in Urdu because somehow students who didn't understand English well. Okay. So a client with a deep vein thrombosis, what is a deep vein thrombosis, we have to discuss about it, suddenly dwell dyspnea. Dyspnea means a difficulty in breathing, okay, tachypnea, tachypnea means a, a rapid breathing, okay, and chest discomfort. What should the nurse do first, okay, so I, I repeat this also in note book. A patient has a deep vein thrombosis. Hai. Thrombosis means that you can discuss it with me. Okay, suddenly, it is a dwarf dyspnea. Dyspnea means that it is a breathing difficulty. Hai? And tachypnea. Tachypnea means rapid breathing. Okay, and chest discomfort. What should do the nurse, uh, nurse do first? Which is the priority of nursing care that the nurse will do? Okay. So, uh, first of all, I will discuss you what is a deep vein thrombosis. First of all, I will uh, tell you that what is a thrombosis. Thrombosis means a clots. Uh, okay, so this is a clots, blood clots. Okay, so the deep vein thrombosis is creating anywhere where is uh, uh, this is happened in a very large and uh, veins where, where the uh, where, where the clots is developed when in veins this is a vein okay and this is a valve vein have also a valves okay when there is some, some clots this these are clots when there is some clots in the vein the pressure of uh, the, the blood pressure of uh, of this range is so high okay and then the uh, the appearance of this vein is it's uh, not symmetrical okay this is a symmetrical then it will come to zigzag this type of things this this is also uh, uh, creating thrombosis in our popliteal popliteal vein like this is this is our popliteal vein and uh, when this is happened when when you are standing a lot of uh, uh, you have a work a uh, lot of and you are not taking relaxation okay so uh, the uh, zigzag if there is some you saw the your vein is like a zigzag then it means that you have some problems because these type of uh, zigzag things and uh, dysfunctions is creating deep vein thrombosis okay so i also told you that there is uh, also some layers of our veins and arteries okay uh, tunica adventitia tunica media and tunica intima i discuss it also before on my videos you if you want to uh, watch it go to my previous videos okay well dyspnea and tachypnea and chest discomfort what should the nurse do these are the four options we have to choose one okay elevate the head of the bed 30 to 40 degree encourage the client to cough and dwell deep breathing auscultate the lung to detect abnormal breath sound and contact the physician physician okay uh, if you are contacting the uh, physician the physician come uh, uh, not come out earlier because uh, he have also a lot of work he have a lot of patients so uh, he come sometimes late so what is the priority we have to cut a number four okay auscultate the lung to detect abnormal breath sound and physician is not come yet so there is not 
uh, you are not a physician so you are not going to auscultate lungs okay and detect abnormal sound so this is also not a first priority so we have to search about a uh, first priority in these options encourage the client to cough and deep breathe no elevate the head of the back 30 to 40 degree yes this is the right answer uh, because when you are elevating the uh, uh, the level of the bed the discomfortness can be decreased and the patient can breathe easily okay so you have to increase the level of the bed so this is our right answer uh, next question is linked with this video thank you very much